Eric. Newsday calls Stressed Eric the best adult primetime animation in years. But why is Eric stressed? Eh, maybe it's his nanny's driving habits. You got it! Stressed Eric, NBC next. Don't miss Days of Our Lives, weekdays, only on NBC Daytime. Please don't let it be morning. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Maria, you should be getting the kids ready now. Please, I told you, I really absolutely cannot afford to be late today. Wallet. Keys. Not those keys! Oh, come on, you stupid piece of sh... Got my pants. Brian! No, no, honey, honey, not that cereal. No, your your special cereal. I like the other ones. I know you do, sweetie, but you don't like it when your tongue swells up so much. I have to inject food into your tushy. But my special cereal tastes so free. Don't be silly. It's absolutely delicious. Look. Mmm. Mmm. Just eat it up, dear. Later we'll go for a dairy-free Sunday with carob sauce. Brian, get a move on. You. <laughs> And where's Maria? Worthless nannies. They roll in at midnight, and when you ask them for an explanation, they puke all over your pants. Maria! Brian! Okay. Don't be alarmed if Daddy seems a little stressed, dear. It's just that the mean man at the office is expecting some figures on us just by nine, but Daddy's not afraid of the mean man. Daddy's just gonna tell him that don't you be mean to me. Daddy's gonna stand up for himself for once. <laughs> Brian, that looks terrific. That really does. That looks terrific. Terra, ara, ifica. Doesn't he look terrific, Claire? <laughs> he does. You do. You look absolutely terrific. Yeah, I just take the card in your mouth just for a minute. And I think it'll be a hit, Brian. I do. The best thing in the whole nativity. But let's do your line once before the play. Huh? What is it? What is it? Are you going to say it once for your dad? Bah, that's it, isn't it? Bah, y you gonna give me a little rendition before I go? Are you, are you, are you? Just once, go on, go on, go on, be a sport for your dad. All right, on three. On, I'll do it with you. One, two. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Getting better. Maria! Hot pants, hot, hot, hot pants, hot.
Maria, I am going now! Maria, I'm leaving! Maria! Uh, it's time to get up. Oh, go, please. No, now, Maria, you are a nanny, okay? I have trusted you with the welfare of my children. I pay you to be a role model. I do not pay you to go out, have 37 vodka slammers, and get arrested for relieving yourself in public. I was trying. Is that all you can say for yourself? <laughs> Yuck, 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 yuck. Uh -huh. ah! uh. <laughs> well, that was a wonderful outing to the opera last night, Mrs. Perfect. And a wonderful meal after, Mr. Perfect. And how wonderful to return home to find our gifted daughter making mince pies for the homeless. With our wonderfully responsible au pair maintaining award-winning levels of kitchen hygiene. Father, I'm loath to see you depart, but I would urge you to hasten to the station lest you miss your train. Thanking you, my excellent daughter, for your care and concern. I will away. Success. Well, achievement. Hemorrhage. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Just relax, Eric. Breathe deeply. In and out. Morning, Mr. Eric. Just off to the post. Very good. Yes, that's right, Eric. That's why you buy a season rail pass. So you can leave it in your bedroom! <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. <gasps> hello? Uh, hello? Oh, hello, Liz. I can't come tonight. What? I need to spend some time with myself. But it, it's Brian's nativity play. Emotional blackmail won't work, Eric. I've always done what others expect of me, but being with Caleb has taught me to say no, no, no more. Neyazme al Kebok or Gandhi. I'm going for a swim in the lake of me. But you have to come. I mean, this is a seminal moment in Brian's development, and God knows he needs developing. We're talking about our son. We're also talking about his mother. This is exactly why we split up, Eric. You can never see things from my perspective. Well, I'm sorry, but there isn't room up your bum for two! Fingers, Eric. Oh, um, in my briefcase. Just give me two minutes. <laughs> so I said, I never said to Carol what I said to you. So how come Carol said I said to her what I said to you and I never said it to her? And I said, well, you said something to her about what you said to me. And he said, yeah, I said something about what I said to you, but I never said what I said to you. At least I never said it to Carol, I only said it to you. And I said, well, if it was a bad me. What I said to you, at least I never said it to Carol. I'll tell you what I said to Carol, I said to you, and I said, Shut your mouth, Dean Tottle, I'm not interested. 
and he hits in a strop. And I said, why in a strop? And come said, on, come on, where are you? You must be in here. I picked all the papers up. I know I did. Allison, will you get that, please? I'm sure I picked it up. I'm sure. Allison! I'm busy! You are in a strop. If anyone should be in a strop, it should be me in a strop. After what you said to Cow, he said to me, that's enough to put anyone in a strop. And he Mike, said, um, I'm, I'm just getting them out. You're the one in a strop, I bet. You said two minutes. Where are they? Right here. Oh, I'll forget the mouth of your case and into my hand. Okay, um, can you just hang on a sec, please? Hi, Maria, it's me. Would you just check to see if there's a large piece of paper with figures on it floating around the garden? It's not Maria, Daddy. It's Claire. Claire? What's wrong with your voice? There's nothing wrong with my voice. Your tongue's got all big, hasn't it? I told you that would happen if you ate the wrong cereal. Eric! Um, working on it, Mike. Um, honey, just go and get Maria. Allison! I'm getting a coffee! Oh, what is this? Now listen, Maria. <laughs> It's P.P., my office, now. Yes, okay. <laughs> well, all I can say, Ray Perfect, is massive big congrats from everyone on the board. The biggest contract in the history of this firm. And it's all down to you, big guy. Catch you later, hero. Come in. Uh, uh, you are uh, wanting to see me? I'll cut straight to it, Eric. I've had Dave on the phone, I've had Ken on the phone, Alan, Martin and Ray have left messages. Terry is furious. Mike is not pleased, and Graham Tunks is spitting blood. What happened to their figures? Mm, well, I, I, was, I, was, I was actually telling Mike, I, I, I redid them this weekend. They were supposed to get them last Friday. Mm, yes, and I, I got them for last Friday, and I put them on my desk, and the crazy old cleaning woman threw them away, along with my taxes and my, and my insulin. It's never your fault, is it, Eric? It's always batty cleaners or exploding cases. What next? Golden eagles swooping out of the sun and carrying off the quarterly figures for the Midlands? Uh, uh, of course not, sir. No golden eagles. That would be laughable. This <laughs> company's been good to you, Eric. We've stuck by you through all your various stress-related what's-its. We moved you out of sales when you got that rash on your neck. No one was ever going to sell anything looking like that. But did we chuck you out on the street? Did we ask burgers? We moved you along to personnel. Then your back went. No one could do interviews hanging upside down on orthopedic wall bars. But did we kick you out on your ear? Did we double ask burgers? But I'm telling you straight, Eric. We've no more options for you now. Data is it. We can't move you sideways again. You'd be in the gentleman's lavatory. Oh, I understand. Get me those figures by the end of the day! Don't panic, Eric. There's plenty of time. The nativity play is not until 7. And once you've found the figures and got back to the office, all you've got to do is check the figures, correct the figures, retype the figures, print out the figures, copy the figures, distribute the figures, and deal with all the questions about the figures that have piled up while you were looking for the figures. Afternoon, Mr. Berry. Still off to the post. Getting closer. Ah, I'm taking them to school. Okay, I was here, so it was like yuck, 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 then bam! Hello, Eric. How art thou? Terrific, terrific. Yeah, really terrific. Are you, pray, going to the nativity play this evening? Of course, yes. Terrific. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Yes, terrific. Uh, um, as I say, terrific. Um, yes, your, your, your um, daughter now, now, now is, is in it? Not as much as we'd like. Oh, oh, really? Uh, what's she playing? Mary Joseph, the angel Gabriel, Pilate, Caligula, Drusus, Drusus, Nero, the narrator, Egypt, and God. And what about Brian? Well, he, he, uh, the, 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 the thing, the thing, well, he's actually, well, you know, when I say that he's, well, he's very heavily in it, very heavily involved in the, in the, in the, in the shepherd's scene. So he's a sheep? Well, there's certainly a sheepy aspect to his, his role, I agree, but... Well, I'm sure it'll test Brian's capabilities to the limit. And beyond. <laughs> Use your anger, use your anger, use your anger. So what if Little Miss Pris is playing the whole Bible? So what if Brian is a sheep 
You don't want to get drawn into that whole parents being competitive through their children thing. There's no point. No, because you've already lost! Uh, uh, ow! Oh, no, you don't! No! Again? Again. Well? Well, your little fellows feel like granite. But as long as you don't jump out of a 10th floor window and land on someone, love spuds first. There should be no long-term damage to anyone. So, so what do you think happened to me? A stress-induced total body spasm brought on by extreme tension. What is it this time? Oh, pressure at work and... And I'm really worried about Brian. He's 10 years old and he's still putting things in his mouth. I don't know. I suppose I should be happy it's his mouth now. We're all worried about our kids, Eric. But you've got a different temperament than me, Doc. You don't care. When your wife was giving birth, you were next to her having a threesome with a pair of anesthesiologists. Exactly. It's how you react to situations, not the situation itself. Yeah, but, but it is the situation. I, I've got to completely redo these figures, which could take all night, and if I miss Brian's nativity play, he'll never talk to me again, assuming that he ever starts talking. What you need, apart from a soupy shower with a brace of nubile geisha girls, is a relaxative. Let me just check what I've given you before. Bisambuterol, ambuterol, quadrambuterol, clearletzamastim, hemsropol, anzihestamine, thandrochori, bisaman, antimodrexol, zangristamine, the antiogriati, amorphosicandol. Okay, let's see how you get on with this. True zambuterol. It'll slow down your pulse, pull down your acid levels, open your arteries, and lower your blood pressure. And Eric, in the meantime, relax. Stick in the bin, stick in the bin, la 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 la, stick in the bin. La 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 la, stick in the bin, stick in the bin, stick in the bin, la 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 la, stick in the bin. He'll be fine. It's only Ba. Even Brian can manage Ba. Evening, Mr. Eric. Nearly there. Although he hasn't managed it yet. He's belched, he's coughed, he sneezed. Still, at least there was something coming out of his mouth rather than going in. And if he can just get Ba under his belt just once, who knows what it could lead to? Maybe we could have conversations where he talks as well. Come on. <laughs> Oh, God! My car is dead and I envy it. Bah. <sighs> Goodbye, little letter.
should return to the place of his birth, there to be registered. <laughs> and from the east there journeyed three wise men following the star, which led them unto the place wherein the child was laid in his manger. Behold, we bring our gifts of gold, nah. Frankincense. Congratulations! You must be so proud. And lo, we too bring gifts. Yes, I... I haven't finished yet. <laughs> From fields far and wide where they graze beneath the heavens, our flocks are now brung before ye. Behold the humble offering with which our adoration ye fully is given. Three chairs for you. Oh. Kalinka, 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 Kala, Ham Kalinka, Sharanda, Yimara, Hoya, Maginka, Kalinka, Kala, Yakawara, Kalinka, Kalinka, Kala, Kalinka, 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 Kala. Sorry, I just got to sit down. That is your special popcorn. Kalinka, Kala, Kalinka, 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 Kala. Marvelous, marvelous. Please, 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 shush. And now, let us give thanks in the form of a sheep. A sheep! Come on, Brian. Bah! You can do it. Just one bah. Just one bar. Bar. <gasps> He's eaten the paper Jesus. Tune in next Wednesday for another all new Stressed Eric on NBC. Nathan Lane is a man who's known fame and fortune. Now he's lost it all, except the attitude. I have spent all my time bringing joy to millions of strangers while I've neglected the only people that really matter, my family. From the people who bring you Frasier. So, what are we going to do? The dishes. The dishes. <laughs> She's priceless. Encore, encore, NBC Tuesdays this fall. The stories you want to hear, the news you need to know. Dateline NBC is next.